This is an example showing the difference between the average treatment effect, or ATE, and the average treatment effect on the treated, usually abbreviated ATT, sometimes ATET or other things like that. So the uh, reason we're thinking about this is because in the difference in differences setting, what we estimate is the average treatment effect on the treated, not the average treatment effect over the full population. So to have a concrete example, imagine we're thinking about small businesses and the outcome we're interested in is monthly sales and the treatment we're interested in is whether they get a loan and so that's our x1 is the dummy variable for is this one of the businesses that did sometime in our sample period get a loan or not and then x2 as usual is the dummy variable for the after period uh, so we could run difference and differences uh, obviously, you'd want to think more carefully about the assumptions, but not worrying about the assumptions for now, we can think about the interpretation of what we're trying to estimate, which is the ATT. So the ATE is the unconditional expectation of the treated outcome minus untreated outcome. So in this case, the treated outcome is what would the business's monthly sales have been in the parallel universe where they do receive a loan, and the untreated outcome would be their monthly sales in the parallel universe where they do not receive a loan. In contrast, the ATT is this average treatment effect, but only looking at the subpopulation of businesses who actually, in our universe, do receive a loan. So instead of looking at the full population of businesses like the ATE, you're only looking at businesses who actually do receive a loan in our universe. So this begs the question, do we think the ATE and the ATT are different or the same? So in some cases we might think they're not different or maybe they're only a little different, but sometimes we might expect that there's an economic reason that certain businesses are indeed getting loans in our universe precisely because they're the ones who benefit more from those loans. So, you know, if there's some cost to applying for a loan and having uh, employees to do the application process, um, and then there's some potential benefit, uh, if you imagine everyone hypothetically had the same costs, then the ones who would benefit more from it would be the ones who would tend to actually receive loans in our universe. In other words, have x1 equals 1. So we might expect the ATT to be higher than the ATE.